Hello there ladies and gentlemen, say hello here and welcome back to another video. So in the first fight here on the secondary account, we're gonna have got your Batman the Giant, Puppet Robin King, and my boy John with Snort Snow Globe, so let's kill Boss of Zero. If you saw the previous video, this is kind of revenge because I kind of messed up against him on the main account, so let's, let's hope we do a better job here. I don't think I can build all the way to Crisis Energy without getting frozen. So let's uh, try to get the burning from the puppet right now. Okay, we got it. Might as well super move because we got the infinite power that we're gonna lose in a second here. Okay, still had infinite power there. That was lucky. That would have been really annoying if I lost that right when Robin tagged in. So, yeah, that was great. Oh, he doesn't have burning though. I think we're gonna activate this before I get frozen. Yep, right before I get frozen. I think I double tapped that special one, sadly. I don't even know what the double tap specials for Robin King do. Except for the third special that it should do double the percentage all damage, but that already happens for some reason. But yeah, it's kind of never worth to use them anyway. Because you want to have the Batman Jump Hazard last as long as possible. Oh, we don't have Burning on him, that's... Oh, there we go. That was a bit annoying. Spamming that special one. There we go. Let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. And here we got Raiden. I mean, generally speaking, he's not a bad drop, but I don't need him. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have Bane to give me some crit chance for my gearless Beast Boy. We got Black Adam to help me activate that infinite power faster. And we got Beast Boy with Puppet, so let's see how this goes. You guys are gonna have extended tagging, so if the infinite power activation doesn't work from the first try... We're gonna have some trouble because we're gonna have to sit with Beast Boy in the fight, not doing anything before I can tag Black Adam back in. Uh, which is not gonna be fun. Okay, man. Just wanna get an optimal point to tag this man in. Bro, chill. Oh boy, chill. We have to not get this man killed. And I need those negative picks to be a bit fresher. Okay, let's try Beast Boy now. Didn't do all my percentage shell damage with Black Adam, but it's fine. We might get to doing it throughout the rest of this fight. We might not. But yeah, we somehow were able to keep infinite power, which is which is amazing. Okay, let's super move, because I wanna get my combo off before he reaches the possibility of super moving. We're not gonna reach 40 combo, but we got one more combo here to do. Or are we? Yeah, I think we can squeeze this in. Right before he's able to do super... Okay, 39 combo, it's fine. I'll, I'll take it. But yeah, we really didn't do all the percentage all damage we could have done with Black Adam, but... Hey, not the most optimal fight. We're gonna take what we can out of this one. And be happy with it. And yeah, that's that's pretty decent damage we're doing, but yeah, we, we lost now the combo. Yeah, we, we so didn't do the percentage health damage we should have done with Black Adam. Like, I'm, I'm seeing the health bar of the boss, and by the time my guaranteed combo on Beast Boy is, is over, he should be far lower health than this man is. So yeah, Black Adam not dealing all his percentage health damage was quite impactful in this fight. But you, know, you, you can't one-shot them all, especially with a gearless beast boy, so... 
For me right now, putting this man in range for the Batman Ninja team to do a clean up with Puppet seems like the, the goal here. Seems like the, the good outcome, basically. So let's try and do that. I mean, it's not much of trying because I'm just pressing this third special button and talking to you guys. We're like, Puppet fights are so brain dead. But at the same time, it's not necessarily Puppet fights being brain dead. That's the problem because it's something different. It's something that you don't do with every single team. The problem is we don't have diversity in, 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 the, in this way. We don't have many artifacts nowadays that promote a very unique style of gameplay. So... You're obviously gonna get bored of Puppet eventually because you just keep doing this, but if this was one of like four choices you had of artifacts that had very unique gameplay to them, wouldn't be so boring. Yeah, that's why I think the problem is not Puppet having this weird repetitive gameplay. The problem is the lack of diversity that we got in terms of weird gameplay. Like, something like all blades would be refreshing to the point where you would have to tag your character in and out constantly, but just make that artifact real strong so you can justify having it on teams that might even find inconvenient that they need to tag in and out. I would love to see that. Uh, but yeah, let's clear this man with the Batman Ninja team, I think. Okay, so here we have uh, Predator Batman with level 8 Puppet that I class ascended to max just because I felt like it. Which might not be the most wise decision. But yeah, the class passive is still level 3. Because there's absolutely no point for me to go further. Because we got 300% from the goddamn gears. And 200% puts us to the crit damage cap. The only thing I would get out of getting this to a higher level. Would be uh, more power steal on crits. Which were fine, honestly. We got level 8. Um, or snow globe and level 3. Let me just make sure this guy can get stunned though. Seabull scares bonuses for might. Yeah, we're we're fine. We're fine. Not sure if I can do 400 um, mil damage. That's a that's a pretty good question, uh, honestly. But we'll see. Can't really tag in and out the power train that much because of the the chaos tag and set the extended tag. Excuse me. Oh boy, look at me combo and dropping this bad. Okay, we missed these specials disabled. I think we can disable them. I think we just missed it. Get the blinds. Okay, we got the damage against target. And here we might have a window to activate the infinite power. Though a short one. Okay, we got it. And we're gonna keep it. Oh, no, it missed the negative. I don't think we can disable his specials, guys. I think that might be a little bit of a problem here. Uh, I think we're gonna have to wait for the second minute power generation. To fully kick in to be able to get infinite power going here. Okay, now we have a bit of a window to do that. Okay, we got it, we got it. And we lost it, but got it again. Yeah, this was this is rough to activate. Yeah, we're definitely not killing this man, sadly. Um Though I can super move, I can definitely super move. I don't mind him super. Oh, 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 oh! I don't mind him super moving me. We're we're gonna be fine, guys. Uh, we need to get him to the corner because I can make him get up. Oh no! I lost infinite power. Please don't lose it, please, please, please. There we go. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Got him back in the corner. Yeah, I think the stream of what's somewhat worth it, like we didn't lose too much damage. If I lost infinite power there, like, permanently, that would have been a little bit of a problem.
Bro, honestly, considering how unoptimal this fight was, we did pretty well, and probably we could, we could have gotten close to killing him if this was a fight that went well, generally speaking, because when it, you saw that we went all the way up to almost 5 five mil on a single value on the special tube. Yeah, we, we had this. It, it went better. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Okay, so here we have EPI with uh, Dark Metal cards, we got Zitana with uh, Puppets, and then we have a North Snow Globe on Flash for some additional passive stats. So let's see how it goes. It's very dependent on how easily we activate Puppet on Zitana or how hard that goes. And it's a bit of a gamble. Sometimes it goes real well, sometimes it goes real bad. We're just gonna do our best to our turn right here at the start. Oh, I fully dodged that. That was that was weird because usually the dot lingers on something no matter what you do on that Catwoman special. But yeah, we got the free special too. We didn't get the negative effect, and that sucks because that would have been the burning negative effect, which allows us to deal percentage already. So a pretty bad start as far as pop and negative effects go. Though we got infinite power. Actually, actually, yeah. I don't care about that burning anymore. We got infinite power. This is this is going very well. Keep pushing her to the corner. Let's do a third special, because that helps it kind of keep infinite power, because that EPA third special has a lot of negative effects to it. Oh no, I lost infinite power. Uh, yeah, that's bad. If I didn't get killed, thankfully, let's uh, let's power generate a bit more. A woman can't be taken for I was like waiting to do a nice super move with EPI. Actually, I don't think we need Zatanna from this point. I think the 300% damage buff that she's giving me will be enough. Maybe. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be enough, though I kinda need to calm boy dropped. Oh, let's go! Let's go, man! The stun helps out a bit. We have a bit of a window where I don't have calm boy dropped. Well, that's gonna happen. Yeah, we got this. Let's move on to the next fight. So here we have Raven with North Snow Globe. We got Raven with Twin Blade, and we got um, Classic Wonder Woman with North Snow Globe. So let's get this going. Let's uh, kill my boy Martian Manhunter over here. Need to be a bit careful because this guy is not hard to combo in trap, but he is not as easy as it seems so you need to be a bit more careful or he will catch you a bit off guard okay dealing some decent damage here bro chill Okay. Get right in there. Kill buddy. Bro! Bro! Can I? And he locked me in. He locked me and I can't tag out to refresh the darkness. Oh boy, this is this is a terrible start. We might as well do super move here since we can't tag out anyway. But boy, so annoying, so goddamn annoying. Okay, let's restack the darkness real quick. Oh boy, how are you far enough to do a swipe on me? We can still make it, I think. It's another one of those characters that have a, has a very fast transition into a block and barely leaves any openings. But yeah, let's get right in there.
Okay. Get Raven back in there. Yeah, I don't think we're killing those guys. Yeah, I messed up too badly for us to kill this. Gonna try my best, but it's not looking great. Get Raven back in. Yeah, we're close, but not close enough. Well, rip. Try my best. Messed up. It happens. Let's move on to the last fight. Oh yeah, this is the exact damage I'm used to. Pausing it, because I usually one-shot, but here we, we actually had to see the damage. I guess if you have uh, Red Hood with uh, Dark Malakarts, and Black Adam with Poppet, and we got Dr. Fate with Dark Malakarts as well. Let's try to kill boss Dr. Fate here, and this will be the last fight of the video. Boy, really messed up the Raven fight. Okay, I'll block for a bit. Keep spamming third special. Who is a super move in there? I don't think we'll need Red Hood. But he's here just in case. In case we need a little bit of a time extension. Bro, did I forget some passive stats? Those damage numbers are not looking right. Yeah, something's terribly wrong here. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. No point in doing two minutes of spam third special since I'm gonna have to use another fight against this man to properly clear him anyway. But yeah, let's see. Actually, I'm out of fights. I need to go into the roster. Hold on a second. Let me vibe check this. Oh yeah, Red Hood's got Dark Mellow cards on. Uh, I'm, even, I'm even scared to see what they put on Dr. Fate. I know my brain just went so all to fight. Oh, Dark Mellow cards too. I mean, really went hard on autopilot on equipping those artifacts, that's for sure. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!